All right, so we want to find out where the third derivative is equal to the original derivative. So starting off, I'm just going to say that the solution to this is d. It's 1 and 2, but I'm going to show you why. So the derivative of e raised to the x is you pull down x, and what happens here, and I should say dy dx. For e to the x, you pull the derivative of x is just 1, so you get e raised to the x d squared d or d squared y dx or second derivative is equal it's exact same thing you just get e the x and finally d cubed y dx is just equal to e the x so the first derivative is equal to the third okay so what about the second one well kind of the same thing except dy dx we pull down a negative x but the derivative of negative x is negative one e raised to the x, or just negative e to the x. Same thing again, so negative times negative gives us a positive, so we get e raised to the negative x. And one more time, so remember this is the first derivative, and then once again, so d cubed, I know this is a little bit messy, dx is going to be equal to negative e raised to the negative x. It should be negative. So you can see that they're both equal. Is equal to this. Okay. So um, what about the third one? So uh, what's dy dx or y prime of sine of x is going to be equal to cosine x. But what's y double prime? It's equal to negative sine of x. Now what's y triple prime? It's equal to negative cosine of x. And as you can see here, these two are not equal. Okay, so that proves that only Roman numeral 1 and 2 are equal. That's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.